setting, emergency department. You see parent who has brought his two-year-old son to the emergency department because he has swallowed a button. You are going to see the child on triage but are talking to the parent first. The child is not present for the discussion. Now let's see the task. First one says, find out the reason for the child's visit to the emergency department. Second one says, explore any physical effects on child such as nausea, vomiting, fever or stomach ache. Find out more details about child's ingestion, how long ago, size and material of button, any action by parent, any food or drink since then. Fourth one says, explain next steps, vital signs to be taken, returning to the waiting area, examination by doctor, decision on appropriate treatment, find out any questions or concerns. Fifth one says, resist giving waiting time, dependent on priority case, availability of doctor, child's table, no IV problems. Sixth one says, emphasize child not priority case, no physical symptoms, signs of distress, no risk of damage, internal bleeding, button likely to pass through the system naturally. Last one says, establish patient's concern for you to take child's vital signs. Hi, good morning. My name is Joan. I'm one of the nurses working in this emergency department. May I know the reason for bringing your son to the emergency department? Nurse, my son swallowed a button an hour ago and I'm really worried about his condition. He needs an immediate attention, please. Please don't panic. I can completely understand your concern. First of all, I appreciate you for bringing your son to the emergency department. We all are here to take care of him. So please be relaxed. Can I have your son's name and age for documentation, please? His name is Tom and he's two years old. All right, for a bit of conversation, how can I address you? You can call me Sarah. Okay, Miss Sarah. Now, can I ask you some questions in order to understand more about your son? Yes, nurse. Please. Okay, Miss Sarah. Did he show any difficulties after swallowing the button? That is, any physical effects such as nausea, vomiting, fever, abdominal pain or anything else? No, nurse. He does not appear to be sick or feeling hot. He does not complain of stomach pain or any other symptoms. Good to know that, Miss Sarah. Can you please explain more details about Tom's ingestion? Sure, Ness. He swallowed the button an hour ago. I checked his throat and it did not stick in the throat. Moreover, I don't see any bleeding in the throat. Okay, Miss Sarah. How big is the button? And also, what material it is made of? It is a metal button and it is almost half a centimeter wide. I believe it is made of aluminium. Okay, by the way, have you tried any harm remedies after the incident? No, Ness. I took him to the hospital after the incident because I didn't know what to do. I was really scared then. Okay. Has he taken any food or fluids since then? No, nurse. He hasn't eaten or drunk anything. Since he swallowed the button, I thought it will further increase the complexity. Thank you for your information, Miss Sarah. Now, I will explain the next steps in the treatment. May I proceed? Please, nurse. Initially, we will check his vital signs to confirm his current status. Based on his health status, we will prioritize doctor's consultation. During that time, you can return to the waiting area. Then appropriate treatment will be initiated after the examination by the doctor. Do you have any questions? I understand that nurse, but I would like to know how long we should wait for the doctor. Your question is reasonable. Unfortunately, I cannot provide a specific waiting time because waiting time depends on priority keys and the availability of doctors. I hope you understand the situation. But nurse, I think we need to meet the doctor immediately because the button might cause internal damage or something else. So I'm really worried about this condition. Being a parent, I can understand your worries, Miss Sarah. I can assure you that your son's current condition is stable and his breathing appears to be normal, indicating no airway issues which confirms that he is not in a critical condition. In my understanding, your son has no physical symptoms or signs of distress, so you don't need to be concerned. Furthermore, the button has a smooth surface, so there will be no chance of internal bleeding or damage. So, no damage will be caused inside the stomach. So, please set your mind at ease. We are here to take care of your son. Nurse, how do we take the button out? I can sense your feelings, Miss Sarah. The button is likely to pass naturally through the system when he opens his bowels. So, there is nothing to be worried at all. I can assure your son is safe in your hand and we all are here to take care of him.
so please be relaxed. I feel much relieved hearing that. I'm happy to know that, Miss Hara. Can I have your permission to take the vital sense for a better understanding of his current situation? Sure, Ness. Please proceed. Thank you, Miss Hara. I would like to summarize what you have discussed so far. We have discussed about your sense condition, followed by the ingestion of a button and the further management. As discussed already, I am going to take your sense vitals in between. If you have any questions or concerns, you can ask me. I will be glad to help you. Thank you, Miss Hara, for your visit to the emergency department. I wish you a great day. Thank you, nurse. Thanks a lot. Thank you, guys. I'll play and see you.